I don't like the Wilhelm scream. Well, it's stupid. When, Nobody screams like that. When I hear the Wilhelm scream, it makes me mad. And I just saw well, Kill Bill. It used Bill. to be cool, right? When people no, would sneak I, it in. I think it's only cool the first time you hear it. And I think everyone else is fucking sick of it at this point. Well, that it's just willy nilly at this point. The Will, I think the everything. Wilhelm scream turns basically everybody into a first year film student. Because they're like in movie theaters and you hear it, and some of the, some of the jackass is always like, uh, that's the Wilhelm scream. Everyone else around him was like, Who's so what fuck? you don't like is that too many people know about it, and now you, not, you think it's not cool. Dude, why I'm is not it in kidding. the intro, though? I just watched Kill Bill Volume 1 and the big fight with her in the crazy 88s. There's like three Wilhelm screams in really? that. Yeah, it's, it's awful. It's awful. And it's in a movie where the audio and visual are like way over the top. <laughs> yeah. Way yeah. over the top. Well, it's, it makes sense when it's just a random dude or some henchman, but when they put it on main characters dying, it's ridiculous. You yeah. should never do that in a movie. Like if Darth Maul had died that way. I, I recently spoiler. watched that. <laughs> I recently watched that crap Pierce Brosnan movie about volcanoes. Volcano? Nope. Dante's Peak. That one. There you go. Nailed like, it. A main character There's more dies. There's one movie that he's in about the, volcanoes. No, no. <laughs> no he's there not was in the two other. movies that came out one year, and they were both about volcanoes in Los Angeles. Tommy right? Lee Jones was in the in the volcano one. Right. And then it had like all this racial, you know, references at the end because everyone was covered in ash, and some kids like they all look the same. <laughs> I never saw that movie. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of glad I didn't now. Have you seen the... Some dude melts in lava. M melts? Yeah. He melts in like three inches of lava. Like, it doesn't make any like... sense. I would melt lava. Like... What? How could I you melt not lava? melt lava? No, you wouldn't. Lava. In three inches of lava, your what? body would like... Oh, you mean he just like in a puddle? <laughs> <laughs> How is there only three inches of lava? Would he spill he's, some? He's on a train car and it's like creeping under the car and like everyone's burning alive. Is it like that scene from Roger Rabbit where he melts into the, yeah, the sludge? Yeah, like Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, goes into the dip. Yeah, it's exactly like that. What would happen if you stepped... Like, let's say there was three inches of lava right here Here's on Here's what would happen. I think my shoes would catch fire, because the rubber would start melting and just erupt into flames. How hot and is then, lava? It's, it's molten rock, so it's I, pretty hot. But then the, the that rock... I, knew. Would, I already knew that. The rock would become hard <laughs> and cool down. So you'd have, like a, you'd have a brick foot. I'd have brick foot, yeah. I think. I don't think I could melt in three inches of lava. I'm looking it up. How hot is lava? Lava, it. uh... When it, it could be just under a lot of pressure, and not actually. What if we find out it's not that hot? When lava reaches <laughs> the ocean, it is two thousand eighty-five degrees Fahrenheit. That's not what? that hot. Or twenty-two hundred degrees Fahrenheit, somewhere You're in insane. that range. That's like my oven goes up to five hundred. Wait, wait, how how hot? Two thousand. Two thousand. Oh, I thought you said two hundred. No. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 hot. It it's can just boil water. Lava. No, two thousand. You can to hold it for degrees. more than a minute or two. So it's like four ovens. <laughs> yeah. That's unbelievably yeah, hot. I think your foot, like your your shoe would melt, but your foot would also probably spontaneously combust as well. Can you melt bone in lava? Sure, why not? Well, because I mean, you, if, you, listen, when you get cremated, it turns into ash, right? Yeah. Not, and that's, not necessarily. I just learned this when they cremate anything. A living, no, not a living thing. That's just burning something <laughs> to death. And when they cremate the remains of something... A lot of times they end up with bones, and there's another part to cremation where they just like grind up the bones. Mm. Oh, they didn't show I, that. I love that blend, <laughs> yeah. take, blend episode. That's yeah. my favorite. Uh, so cremation uh, chambers are between 1400 and 1800 degrees. So wow. it's just slightly lava less hot than lava. A little hotter. Do you than a think chamber. the mortician ever cooks Thanksgiving turkey in there? Because that would take Don't like a minute. Be ridiculous. It, it, would, it would take two minutes. You wouldn't tell anybody at your dinner party. Yeah, but isn't a part of like good tasting meat how slowly it cooks? Like if you threw something into the sun on a rope and pulled it back, it would be. It'd yeah, be... letting all the juices kind of like bubble up and. Bubble up. <laughs> yeah, but think about it. a turkey doesn't have time to dry out if it's cooking for 14 seconds. <laughs> like put it in, pull it out. We could cook a turkey in lava and see if how that you could goes. do a thing where mm -hmm. you had a device where. You could swing food through it, and it comes out completely cooked in one second. Would you get one of those? What if does it that was mean? like it's a device that you swing food through? Yeah, because it's what too you, hot. Could you, could you put it on a lazy Susan? <laughs> like I don't want to swing it. Could could you put it on another device? Put all your device? uncooked meat on one of those and you, just spit it through. You don't yeah. want to swing it. That's too much effort. Yeah. Well, I don't eat a lot of swingable foods. I mean, like, what happens if I'm having tuna steak? casserole? You just have, like, a, a piece of meat. Like a turkey attached to a string by one of the legs. <laughs> yeah, you just, just like, put it on a meat hook and just... Or a tuna casserole, you could put it, like, I don't know, in a glass container of yeah. some kind. Or in, or in tinfoil. Right. Yeah. And swing it through. But this of device... Of course I would buy it. This device... It's futuristic and stupid. I would this device costs $50,000. I wouldn't buy it, then. No. It's got to get down to, like, the $300 Says range. the guy who bought the You sent me a video the other day, Barbara, of... 
it was a compilation of all the times where you'd made fun of me. Where I imitated <laughs> you? Yeah, you make it. You're the person who made it, though, also put all the times I was just imitating a British person in general. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it wasn't always me? No, no. It was really funny. I love those fan made compilations. Yeah. Because it's just such a concentrated, it's like, wow, we do this stuff a lot. Did you see there was a, a video? I don't remember if it came out like last week or something. I don't watch it video. was a couple of uh, sportscasters talking about the Chicago Cubs mascot. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the context is, but they're talking about the Cubs mascot, and they cut to like B-roll of the mascot, like walking around, like shaking people's hands and stuff. What is the Cubs mascot? Is it a cub? It's some bear. Yeah, it's a bear. Okay. And then after the show, the mascot, like shaking people's hands, they cut to like a drawing of the mascot. But they must have just done a Google search for like Cubs mascot and picked the first image. No, what it's like amateur hour? A cartoonish drawing of the Cubs mascot. With a hairy dick. Oh, oh my god. And you on TV. And you could, oh, yeah, you, and you hear the newscaster it's go, like, There it is. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> the newscaster go, That's not a correct image. You should go to the next one. Go to the next one. <laughs> go to the next one. And Get just me out of this mic. Yeah, they just sit on it. Ever. God. That's, that's impressive. That's amazing. I love shit like that because someone went through to find the assets for them to cut to. <laughs> that had to be approved it, on purpose. And then they cut to it and left it there. But was it someone's last day? Maybe, or it's like someone just wanting to get fired. <laughs> someone, did the, someone did that same thing with the Krispy Kreme image. Did you ever see that? Oh, no. yeah. No. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, I can put it up, but it's a woman newscaster. They're talking about the Krispy Kreme that just opened. Everyone's going nuts. And it's like they put up an image of Krispy Kreme clearly from the internet. And it says Krispy Kreme donuts, but then someone has added a caption at the bottom, which is so good you'll suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and then. They put that up on the news. <laughs> do you? Do well, you it's watch... true. Do you know my favorite part of you living with Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite part? This could be good. So I lived with Jeff for, I think, what about two going? years. I like, love... Well, when, first of all, the day first... he tore up all of his carpet, but didn't take up the tax strips. Oh, yeah. That was, <laughs> so that was you painful. just had this room lined with, like... Like... Nails. Tiger pits. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Just nails coming up out of the ground. And then he had this brilliant idea to paint the bedroom hallway, which also had the bathroom <laughs> in it. He painted the whole thing black. The ceiling, <laughs> the doors, everything. The wall, yeah. And, he, and I, they added pink stars later because a black hallway with a black ceiling and black doors, basically at night or at a party. <laughs> you have no death perception. Go, Where's the bathroom? And they're like, oh, just go down to the end of that hall. And then you hear like, <laughs> people turn the corner and they go, uh, uh. Thump! <laughs> they would come, you were constantly running into that door. It was the dumbest thing I've ever seen on a decorating standpoint. This is after he lived with Griffin? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm surprised she would let him do that. It was just like a... It design just, design, design wise. Design-wise. painted the hallway? Yeah, and he was sure. Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was his new girlfriend and the influence, right? It was yeah, the... and, and then eventually they repainted it as uh, a pirate map. <laughs> no, that oh, was the cool. living room wall. Yeah. Was, Living with Jeff was was one of the best times of my life, just because of the stuff I would just stumble into. Like, he would be in the middle of just the weirdest situations. There was a time where he bought a cow in pieces and had it in a oh, freezer. Right. And someone unplugged the freezer that all the cow was in, so it all, like, rotted. And oh. I came out of my little studio, and he was just there, like, two beers into a six-pack and wearing rubber gloves. There's all this like minging blood all over the backyard because he tipped the freezer out. I was trying to like scrape out all the dead cows. That's horrific. That's <laughs> like such a like a sensitive gag reflex. I'm surprised it's not going off right oh, now. It smelled so bad, and he was like, he just looked up at me. and was just like, <laughs> <laughs> and you Shelf offered dog. no. I bet you offered no help. I actually, I took one of the beers and then I left. Did you really? Yeah. God, you didn't, like throw a pair out. of gloves? No. It's Let me help you. Me. With this. Are you surprised by that? That no, Gavin didn't help. No, okay, I, wait. I, I didn't think I guessed that. Would you have helped him scrub the meat out of his With, fridge? Without question, I would have helped him. Really? Absolutely. Gavin, I would not have. My boy, you, you messed up. Uh, I, I couldn't. I had to. <laughs> Gus, nobody's surprised by you not helping you. either. You made a high five awkward. With like, I make two everything feet awkward. You see, I'm breathing. I'm alive. It's awkward. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. He's wearing two ties. I'm wearing two ties. Um, oh my god. So I remember one time. Uh, we let, were me tell you out. let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I don't know if it applies to all nerds, but definitely as white guys. It, I'm now 40 years old. Somebody puts up a high five. My initial reaction is act like this. Oh, God. It's just like <laughs> I'm just waiting to fuck it up. When I go in for a high five, it is like this tiniest little moment of dread that I don't think I'll ever outgrow. I think when we did the podcast Let's Play for Rocket League, 
Blaine and I tried to high five, I think, five times, and I think we connected once. Is that, is that on camera? Was it all your fault? No, it was all my fault. It was not on camera. You do, can hear the audio. Do you use proper high fiving etiquette of like stare like at the, the elbow? elbow? No, I don't. Yeah, I don't know why it works, but it's it's proven. You want to get good That's solid high five? high five? You know who gives the best high fives? Hmm. Teddy, rock solid, and really? not like sometimes kids like they do shit too hard because they yeah, think they're no. supposed to. Nope, he's just like a rock solid high five. Have you ever high five Miles? No. He will destroy your hand. Yeah, fuck that. Jack, Jack, Jack will destroy. You. Your hand too. Oh, but like he doesn't it. even realize he's doing it. He doesn't realize his own force. Miles he's just excited. Force? He's very excited. I don't realize Miles' force, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's common. We'll How do you feel about problem. limp dick ham- handshakes? The uh, worst. I, I feel like it's gotten worse. Like it's it's more common knowledge than ever. When you meet someone, nice firm handshake. Everyone or it might be like a hipster Austin thing. Everyone is like a flaccid penis. <laughs> do you ever have one of those you ever have one of those handshakes where it's like uh, it like engages too soon, and then you end up like in that like that yeah. damsel like yeah. you're just holding each other's fingers kind of a thing. Like, yeah, like it you're just like engages too. Yeah, soon. Yeah, it's like the person either grabs on too soon. You're like, no, you went, gotta go for the palm all the way in. And then I will stop people and go, no, no, that's we're not living with that. We gotta get a real handshake a lot. So. And some people just don't move. They just go like, I just like you just squeezed me. That's not a shake. It's got a shake. There's got to be some of this. <laughs> what was it? Was it? Remember when we went to the taco night in Seattle? Yeah. Weren't they telling us, like, stupid handshakes? Like, like they, turkey? Like, you just take your thumb and tuck it down. And it, like, <laughs> it's like, freaks people out. <laughs> yeah, they just, just go missed. past your hand. Now, like, if you go for the high five, when people go like this, turkey. Oh, and yeah. I'm doing the turkey head. I'm surprised you high five me. You never high five me. I don't like high fives. Why? I like the fist bump. Germs. I, I, think, <laughs> I think handshaking is one of the dumbest things we do. Yeah. I yeah. agree. No, I think clapping is the dumbest thing we do. If clapping is pretty dumb. Have you ever like, noticed I don't clap at the meetings? I don't clap at It's because you're too cool. I refuse. No, there it's are, not about being cool. It's just clapping is dumb. There have been great things that get announced at our meetings. Like, big deal things. And it's really hard for me to clap. Like, I really don't like doing it. Like, wait, it doesn't make any sense. Why would you bang your hands together? I know, I, I, I agree with you. Why don't you bang your feet together? Because it would be absurd. Yeah. Because you're standing on them. Just do your knees. <laughs> clunk, clunk. It's especially funny when you see somebody who claps poorly. We know somebody who is very, very cool. And we all love this guy. He's awesome. Who is but it? he claps like a fucking... You have to out him now. It's Alan Rickson. Oh. You see Alan, and you see Alan Rickson clap? It's kind of like he leaves his hands open and just kind of like... Does the, he's the open hand, flat hands like this. Yeah, I assume he's just being funny. Is he not? I don't know if he is or not. Is he trying not to like damage his beautiful hands or something? Like, what's going on? No, he just claps like this. Do you hate people who, cla- who try and clap really loud with like the cupping clap? Like, ow! <laughs> <laughs> I bang my thumbs. Give me this one. Yeah, they make it sound like a yeah. thud. My yeah. dad does that. I can't do it. Got it. It's like thunder. You know what I do? Actually, I find myself doing a lot. Is I do this. I just hit my leg. I hate that. I do that. That's the worst. You are just, the worst kind of human being. Why Why am I- you're just sitting there with your fucking thumb up your ass, not clapping. No, my thumbs are firmly in front of me, not doing anything. So do you just stare at people while they're clapping? Yeah, I'm just like, this is so stupid. I do the thigh clap too, because I'm usually holding a coffee Yeah, because you're holding something, I just go, yeah, yeah. I sometimes just, just do a single clap. You feel so obligated like to this? make noise, you're like striking yourself? Well, you know, you're, stri- you're just making you know the sound to, uh, of skin on skin. Do you know how to clap for people who are deaf? Yeah, Isn't that cheering? jazz hands. Oh yeah. I mean, I thought it was like whistling or something. That's much better. Whistling? <laughs> they can't hear it. No, have, but no. Have like, you ever stayed at a hotel in an accessible Never. room that yes. has a doorbell for people who are either uh, hearing impaired or visually impaired? Was not. Like? I've stayed in hotel rooms that have doorbells, but not specifically because of any kind of handicap or disability. I've stayed in a hotel like that before, and I was like, oh, I got to see what this doorbell is like. I wonder if it just makes like a flashing light or something. <laughs> it is like setting off a fire alarm in your fucking room yeah. that goes on for 10 goddamn seconds. Wow. What? It's, yeah. It's, oh, so it's just really loud? It's like a piercing alarm noise and then like strobe lights start going off. Oh, <laughs> now that I like, know that. I almost had a fucking heart attack. Of course, you'd be doing it to people who are staying in a disabled room, so that might not be the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Although, if you, is it, what happens sometimes when they book the room up, or book the hotel up, they'll give you the disabled room, and it's like... That's why that's happened to me, It's super yeah. spacious, too. Like, the bathroom's huge yeah. and everything. And you got all yeah. kinds of handles in the bog. Yeah. I, I There's always stuff well, like that, though, where really you just, intense. like... Like, you see something, um... 
and you don't like your brain doesn't engage fast enough like you're in the bathroom you're sitting there and you look over <clears throat> and there's a string on a <laughs> coming out of the wall like out of like an outlet plate and mm -hmm. you're like what's that string doing you pull it and it's a fucking alarm for when people fall off the toilet or whatever and they they can't get back right. up you ever done that before I, I've I did seen it at my those. grandmother's apartment and I like oh my god <laughs> Scared me. Scared me. Well, I feel like that. did it scare the shit out of you? Because that would be the place yeah, for it. It, uh, it scared Although me. I have noticed here that not many bathrooms. I don't think I've seen a single bathroom in America where you have a rope handle for the light. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rope handle for the light. But that's very common in in UK bathrooms. We have, have those a, a lot in attics and in cellars. Why in bathrooms in the UK? I don't know. It might be an old house thing. Like both of my grandparents' houses had them. <laughs> Yeah, older, and they older would always houses snap had because you you yank it too hard. And be like, mm -hmm. I think we I think we call those chain lights. We don't call them yeah. rope lights. Yeah, but I mean those, those are really common in like like small closets. And it's always like a bare bulb. Yeah, typically it's yeah. not like there's no there's fixture fancy. on it. Yeah, all the you know I was in Japan recently. All of the fucking about it. public bathrooms in Japan, or I should say, none of the public bathrooms in Japan have soap. What do you do? Wipe your hands up your own ass? I don't know. Well, there's a sink. You can wash your hands. You can't wash your hands without soap, by yes, definition. You, you absolutely you can. You can get your hands wet in a no, sink. No, no, no. If you have fecal on your hands, you can wipe it off with water. What? Yeah, I mean, of course, that's what I did. I would rub my hands underwater, but that's not cleaning it. Do hot water. It's it's cleaning cleaning it. cleaning it. Hot it's water not... kills a lot of germs. Water's one of the most water polar substances It's not in the world. sanitizing it, but it is cleaning it. All right, it, I, I can clean shit off of my it hands It doesn't matter, anyway. you got to touch the door on the way out. Your hands will never be clean. That's true, and no, no one else has soap to use on their hands. It's annoying. You know how there's those bins that you stamp on and the lids open? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why, does, why don't they have doors that do that? They do. You, what? They do. They have a lot of places. They have uh, a little hook. Mighty Fine has it, and Rudy's has them. I guess the guy is a kind of maybe the guy who owns Rudy's and Mighty Fine, same company. Maybe he's got some kind of germ thing. He's yeah. also got the hand washing thing. I have a question. I appreciate a bog without doors, just like two different archways that are offsets. So you mm. can't ever see it. The conversion centers, right? You see what's, that a lot. Yeah, airports too. What's the point of automatic soap dispensers? You don't have to touch the little thing. Yeah, but once you use the soap, that's a good point. She's got a great point. Your hands are clean. Well, yeah, because once you get the smush, it's literally the last thing you can touch is the soap dispenser. Yeah, because then you well, theoretically, the handle to the door leading out of the bathroom should be the cleanest surface in the world because everyone's washing their hands. Yeah, but nobody does right before they touch it. But even if one person doesn't, you're fucked. Yeah, people are animals. But you're what, you, what percentage do you're you think? fucked in what you way? Go... Like, what do you get from genitals? Like, what is that? What are you afraid Pregnant? of catching? It's not genitals; it's feces. It's, oh, it's feces. Is that what you think? Yeah. No, but like if if Why Gus you saw somebody, hands? If, if somebody saw Gus peeing in the urinal, or Gus, you saw somebody else doing that, you're just watching because you want to look at them, and then they left without. That would not be okay. No, of course no not. feces involved there. What if they yeah, pissed on their hand? They've got like dick stank. But he pisses, pisses sterile. You said genitals. Urine is sterile. And not when it, not after it comes out. What does that mean? Like it gets it gets minging out your dick hole. But in, like, what are you guys afraid of getting? Guess what? They they piss out of their dick I hole. I just want to know. I, I've always been You're fascinated. Pivoting, I mean, I get the that sick. bathroom stuff is gross and everything, and it's germy. But what are you afraid of getting? Sick. sick. I'm well, afraid what, of what getting sick. Germs from Influenza? waste. Anything. Like, pee hole waste. I don't want to. I don't want to vomit. I don't want to have diarrhea. I don't want to feel bad. Okay. So are you saying you're okay? So say I, I went to the urinal. Got my knob in my hand. I'm not saying I'm okay with it. Wait, I'm wait. just curious. Like, I want someone to find like, what are they afraid of yeah, getting? Say I finish touching my penis. I mean, you know, maybe there's a little bit of spray. And then on the way out of the bathroom, I just put my two fingers in your mouth. No, I mean that's. I wouldn't want you to put your two fingers in my mouth sitting there right now, though. That's yeah, that's germy. But if like, it's, it's like I don't think about like you touch a bunch of horrible stuff all day long. That's why I wash my hands and sanitize them. When you get all an elevator long. and you punch elevator buttons, those are disgusting. Public doorknobs, mm -hmm. everything like that. All that stuff is terrible. I don't spend any of my time thinking about it. I don't spend any of my time. Good, thinking you about shouldn't. It. Not, not at all. I don't worry about it in the least. Well, good for you. You're, yeah, like you're, people, you're, you're people a more think, evolved human being. Uh, listen, if, I want people to wash their hands when they leave. Were the bathroom. you on the podcast where we talked about peeing in the shower? No, I was not on the podcast. Do where you we talked pee about in the shower? I, I don't tell you anything. I don't tell you anything that I do. Bernie, you need to be. That on means my he side. does. What's that? Yes. That means you do. Like a normal fucking human no, being. No, like a fucking disgusting human being. Don't I pee in the shower every day. Every day? Every day. Do you pee yeah, in the shower at work? I don't use a shower at work. Oh. Okay. But if I did, I probably would. So if I was to sniff your inner leg, your inner thigh, would it smell like piss? <laughs> no, because I'm in the shower. Yeah. So you piss before you clean. Usually, yeah. So why don't you just piss before you get in the shower? That's how you rinse off your legs. Usually. Because then I don't have to flush. 
because I'm already in the running water. If you ever pee in the shower, you pee the moment you get in the shower because you have a reflex when you touch the water. Hot I don't water, know what, yeah. I don't know what that is. Wait, what we you if have a reflex when you touch water, you want to pee. You know he that, totally pees in the shower. Don't you know that trick? <laughs> don't you know that trick when you're at a sleepover party, if someone's asleep, you put their... That's a fucking urban legend. That's a lot of what are you talking about? But that's how it started. I don't, I don't suddenly piss my pants when I get hot. Hot water. It's not about being you, hot. You're, you're, I mean, are, are you really surprised to hear this? Myself. That when you touch water, it makes you have to go to the bathroom. You've never heard of I've that. I've never had heard that. of this. And also, I drink <laughs> hot drinks every day. I piss to constantly. To the internet. That's why it doesn't happen to you. Be in the shower. Whoa! <laughs> Pick it up! It's spilling! <laughs> Jesus, God. Here, I got one more of these. Anyway, is that we've had the discussion on here about people wiping. It's the same thing as, like, the, the bathroom discussion we have earlier. Go on. Is that we've, we've talked about this before a bunch of times. That there's half the world wipes... Oh, right. Standing up and half the world wipes sitting down and they don't know that the other half of the world exists until this conversation starts. Right. And then people start to freak the fuck out. Like there'll be people who have never heard this before. I'm a sitter. Even though we've talked about it in the podcast like three or four times, there'll be people on Twitter going, what do you mean people sit down to wipe their butts? That doesn't happen. It's when your bum's open. So there was, there was an interesting moment that happened in a video and I'm not going to go into specifics. I'm not going to go into specifics, but there was an interesting moment that happened in a video where someone had to simulate wiping. Oh, I know what you're talking about. And the way they did it was very, very strange. It was from the front. <laughs> it was from the front. <laughs> wait, like between the legs? Wait, yeah. go oh boy. I can't, listen, I can't, I'm not okay. trying to out anybody. It's a video, it's a video that you're in. It's gotta be a guy. It's a video that you're in. Is it million dollars butt? And it, yeah. And it did not catch, like, I thought, that's gonna, like, cause uh, a storm. Gosh, you wanna help me out here? A shit storm? There you go. Exactly. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid all my bathroom puns today. It's like this? Yeah. You must be pissing on your wrist. I don't know what's going on there. He's simulating wiping his he. butt after a poop. You don't go underneath. You also don't wipe front. your butt. Do you wipe your butt beyond pooping? Do you guys just, like, stop in the middle of the day and wipe your butt? Keep yourself no. clean? Why not? Do you really? No. no I'm just kidding. Oh. I thought maybe I was like, am I supposed to be wiping <laughs> more than after a poop? But, uh, yeah, so, because she specifically pointed out he was wiping after a poop. Gus. Oh, okay. Well, it sounded like he was thinking he was wiping after a piss. Because he's like, you piss on your wrist. You don't need, need to wipe after a piss. You no, just well, give it a solid shake. I was confused because you said he was pissing she on does. his wrist. She does. Women piss. wipe after well, their Well, I mean, piss. you can't poo without peeing. It's impossible. It's not impossible. It's very possible. It's, it's not impossible. It's impossible. But, look, if you got full bladder and you need to poo only, don't, don't, don't impossible. Say, don't don't say full bladder. What if you have a full bladder? What if you don't have a full bladder? If you don't have a, if you <laughs> the, the, the situation is set up is so stupid. If you have a full bladder but you only need to poo, poo that's not that's what full bladder means. You have to be. <laughs> No, I mean, if, you, if you're going to poo, and you happen to also have a load of piss. What if you just no, no, stay agree, in? Unless you just came straight from the urinal and sit down yeah, to Yeah, yeah, because then you're I actually agree with you that you tend to do both at the same time. Well, like, it's because it's literally physically impossible not to piss. I, now, that statement I don't agree right. with, that it's physically You're going to drink a lot of water, then you're going to poo. <laughs> and we'll see what happens. There's no way you're <laughs> you not going to pee. You know the water doesn't turn into poo, right? But you what if that? you don't have to pee? Like, Some what if does. your bladder is not full? Like, then you won't pee. So but it is possible not to pee. No, oh unless my God. it's totally drained and empty. You're just When you're, does that ever happen? When do you when do you poo with a completely empty bladder? Sometimes times. sometimes I'll pee first, then poo, and then my body finds extra pee after I'm done. It just more comes out. This conversation like makes it makes some on demand. Yeah, it makes some yeah. <laughs> I, I'm with you. I'm so sorry I brought this up. So and also, where were you, you going with this? Well, that was it. Like, you, I was you, surprised that it did not cause more of a reaction. Yeah, we, I, like, there was no discussion about that. But you noted it, and I noted it when I saw it. I was like, well, it was also so fast. I was like, that was interesting. It was also, also I didn't notice on my own. Blaine actually told me about it. He showed me a cut of it. And he just like, look at look at the way he's doing this. And I was but like, we're not mentioning his name, but it's in the video, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what, everyone knows who we're talking about. No, how do you know? Who are we talking about? I told him already. It's in the video. Yeah, there's like eight videos, dude. Of people wiping? No, go watch the fucking video if you want to go do it. Go watch the I'm video. with you, Gavin. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't get it. And also, have you ever had the thing where it's the middle of the night and you sit down and you're, you're trying, to, trying to stay asleep a little bit because it's like yeah. four in the morning, so you're just like this and you pee a lot. And then, uh, you like get up ready to go and then more pee. You, yeah. you, it's like your bladder has folded. Mm -hmm. And then as you get up, it like unleashes the other half of your bladder. It's like, oh, I've got a second, uh, no. a second no. entire no. pee. You might, you no. might have prostate that. issues. Maybe. Why, why are right. we on the same page about everything let, and they're on let the me, same let page me, about everything? We'll, we'll give each other a check. Yeah. Right. So do you wipe standing up or sitting down? Sitting down. Okay. From the front? Barbier. Not from the front. I don't see how you can get clean that way. 
Because you're just tugging you feces. to wipe that direction. You're just yeah. tugging feces into yeah. the back of your balls. Yeah. Yeah. You're wiping, you're wiping that way. You need to go that way. Was, was he pushing, like... <laughs> <laughs> and then he just lets go and it falls in. <laughs> no. so it's interesting. It's time to wrap. We, we've had stuff like that before, though, where we we have to we have scenes like either like sex scenes or Monk kissing scenes or yeah other kinds of scenes, <laughs> and you have to like inadvertently you are demonstrating your technique. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Mm-hmm. And you don't realize that till afterwards, and you see it later, or you see somebody else doing it. You're like, well, that's kind of interesting the way they're going about that. So fingering. <laughs> fingered? Have we done a video where somebody Don't gets think we have. fingered? Don't think we have. But if you had that. to quickly do an impression of fingering, you'd be embarrassed to do it, right? Do it. Well, I always, I always noted. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make that noise too? I really hope so. That would be so incredible if you made that noise the entire that time. That wasn't fingering. That was you pretending to be a girl minching yourself off. Yeah. Well, or me going from the back. Yeah. Oh. I got you. Well, I remember one of the things I, what I noticed when Gavin first started coming on the podcast is I thought it was interesting that whenever he referenced a dick, like if you do the hand, what's the hand motion for screwing? Like if you say, we're going to do it. You do this? Yeah, just like that. Gavin doesn't do that. <laughs> oh. Because he- you take one finger and do it. He does two fingers every time. And I always thought, <laughs> well, because this is a finger. This is a penis. That that That's, to me was interesting that you were like doing that. Like you weren't going like this with a fist or well, anything like that. Well, my penis isn't that wide. No, yeah. But is it this one? I've heard stories, Gavin. Come on. I mean, near enough. It's not that. (laughs) Oh, maybe it is. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. All right, we're going to wrap up. (laughs) Thanks for watching, everyone. Watch the post show. We'll see you guys next week. Post show. Thanks, Marcus.